This is Baxter Van West from AirVenture 2017. I'm standing in the NASA tent looking at some of the marvelous technologies that are going to be coming out in the next couple of years. Here's Larry Price to tell us about the Orion capsule and the Orion simulator that they have here. So Baxter, the Orion program is designed to take humans to other planets. We have a lot of, it, of instruments on the surface of Mars and in uh, orbit around Mars doing climate, researching the surface. The time now is to send humans there on the way to Mars then we have to check out the vehicles and be sure that they all work because it takes nine months to get from Earth orbit to a Martian orbit. You gotta have everything that'll work. You can't call FedEx and send, send me a part. So we'll practice on the way by going to the moon because it's only three days away. If you have a problem, you can come back in three days. NASA's already practicing on space station. If there's a problem at space station, you can come back in, a, in an hour. The vehicle is small so that it's lightweight and we have the rocket propulsion technology to get at these great distances, but it's large enough to be able to accommodate a crew of four and up to six if there was an emergency to carry more people back. There have been a thousand trade studies to design this vehicle. Looks a lot like Apollo, but very different. We've learned a lot from Apollo, heat shield technology, aerodynamics of this size shape. We had a very sexy winged body that looked like a, a, a Joint Strike Fighter or an F-22, but it had challenges to come into the atmosphere at 20,000 miles an hour and heat. We know a lot from Apollo, so for a lot lower cost and shorter time period, we can get to this point. So with all the things that the vehicle has to do, what you're gonna do today is one of those, one of those functions is actually docking to a simulated architecture orbiting Mars. So the entire vehicle is uh, built, the, the electronics, all the avionics, all the software is in a big laboratory that we can check everything out. What we can do with this simulator is we can connect the pilot, the astronaut, the human interface with the entire system and check out the interaction of that man machine. And we've learned a lot with all of this so far. Even simple things like the angle that the screens are facing you. There are three screens so that if one fails, you can see the other two and you're still redundant. But interestingly, the one that's your primary screen in front of you is canted a little away from you. So if the co-pilot, the pilot, can see it better if his screen fails. Now NASA is sending more scientists and doctors into space because they have the skills to be able to use this capability. So we're trying all these things out to come up with the most effective way to keep the astronauts safe. Because when you're at Mars, 22 minutes at the speed of light, a ground controller can't send up a command to fix something because it's 22 minutes after it happened and 22 minutes before it gets there. So the system and the astronauts have to be able to do that. So we're learning that here. Synchronized free fall isn't nearly as daunting as it sounds, but don't come in too fast.